too. Just starting with a listen shot. We got a long distance set up on the camera right now. And I'm just going to start to look for some interesting subjects, so hang around if you like. And we will see if we can uh, get anything kind of close at all or anything. Well, I've got another location in mind here. Let's have to walk to it here. Some, when I first stopped here, there was some mad barking, and that mad barking was them, and it was intimidating, and it's surprising that it's not continuing to happen. Good people. There's a bear around? I think they were barking at me for being stopped. Oh, they're right up in here? On this side? Oh, okay, right on, thanks. No, that's fine. Thank you. So they got some bear, the mother and two cubs around again this season. That's cool. This was a spot of interest for me when I first walked over. Part of the reason is, is because they get what we get out of color, guys. So, they can produce this kind of color with stirring up the ground. And they can also be the ones who are making the color, especially in certain locations of our interest. Keep in mind when you're looking around in these areas, 
look for finger glasses. Something, you see all those sticks there? And you sometimes come across a perfect pair, and they look like, almost like there could be eyes in behind them. Search, like look at the sticks. Maybe you'll end up realizing that they actually are a set of finger glasses. Like they make, what do you call it, they make shapes with sticks, with fingers, with different things to give an illusion of a look. So when I first, because that guy talking, his dog was a quiet dog. His dog was not the dog that I referred to in this video at the beginning as a pretty aggressive sounding um, guy. And I've said before, they know how to spook the bears around and control the bears and stuff. You can't be that naive. I know it for a fact. I've seen it in action. And I got it on video in action, if you want to believe it or not. Alrighty. Let's see if I find... Something then... People don't like to spend a lot of time filming these kind of junctions, these kind of maybe spots. They're worried about spending so much time in a fail. Well, you know what? I teach with my words too. So generally, if a person isn't getting the answer that they want when I'm working, Ask me a question, and we'll see if we get that uh, your answer that way. Then, but the answers we're looking for right now, while we're trying to figure out how these guys are so well at hiding. Well, he said that their dog was just barking, so he said that was the reason why it was going on like that. It's kind of like a lab kind of a dog, I believe. One does this. Ouch. Oh, freak. Bad spot for my knee, I think. Go over here a bit. I actually feel like I'm kind of in a hot area. some more. Where am I? I'm gonna go right in there, I think. Some interesting color down there. Is that a gray wood or
Look for body parts. Don't always be looking for a face. I think that's the mistake of a lot of people. My big baboon headed guy. I think I seen his um, legs and stuff first. <laughs>